Thailand has been a popular tourist destination for decades and with good reason. It has beautiful beaches. A friendly and exotic culture. Historic temples and a lot of adventure. It has a strong tourism infrastructure. Yet it is exotic and exciting enough to make you feel that you have stepped into another world. But when traveling to Thailand, there are many rules and cultural differences you need to know before you go. In Thailand, there are a number of different do's and don'ts. In general, most minor indiscretions will be forgiven. But if you act respectfully towards local traditions and customs you will automatically receive appreciation from Thai people. How to adapt to Thai culture Remember and following a few simple rules while traveling in Thailand will help you stand out from other tourists and hopefully earn you respect from locals which in turn will enhance your experience and could possibly open up new opportunities on your trip to Thailand. We want everybody visiting Thailand to enjoy. But if you are visiting the country for the first time, those differences can be exciting, but they can also be confusing. Here are some tips to help you overcome the initial culture shock that you may experience when you visit Thailand for the first time. Buddhism plays an enormous role in the country's culture. Do not lean on them. Sit on them, touch them, or point your feet towards them. Don't climb on any Buddha statues. Buddhist monks are highly revered by Thais. Women must not touch them or their yellow robes since it is forbidden by religious rules. You'll encounter monks all over Thailand, and you should always treat them with utmost respect. If you want to give them something, place the item in front of them instead of handing it directly. When you visit temples or religious sites, and take pictures there. Please respect the places and dress remember what to do appropriately. Please ensure that you dress modestly, wearing such things as, shirts with sleeves, and long pants or skirts. Avoid see-through shirts, sleeveless shirts, short pants, and short skirts. And you'll leave your shoes outside and enter temples barefoot. One of the most distinctive Thai customs is the way used in respect, greetings, leave-taking, as an acknowledgement, or accompanying an apology. And it also may include a slight bow of the head. This salutation is often accompanied by a serene smile symbolizing a welcoming disposition and a pleasant attitude. How to weigh First, put your palms together in front of your chest so that each finger is touching its counterpart. Then, bring your hands to touch the middle of your chest. And slightly bow your head so that your index fingers touch your nose, this is the basic way. And it most resembles a slight bow. Sawashdi so is a greeting with hospitality. Showing the politeness and friendliness of Thais. It will make your interactions with the locals that much better. Say Sawashdi so crab for men or Sawashdi so ka for women when greeting Thai people. Perform the Thai way, while saying Sawash Di Krab or Sawash Di Ka. Thailand is famously known as the land of smiles. The Thai smile is famous, essential to Thailand etiquette, and Thais show it whenever they can. Smiling at each other smiling greetings to acquaintances. Or smiling at strangers as they pass by shows friendliness to other people. It is another thing that many nations see as a rarity but can be found in Thailand. Show respect with the way Sawadee smile. You should most certainly at least attempt to learn a little of the Thai language during your trip to Thailand. The locals love it when you at least give it a shot. It's pretty easy to master quickly. And you will find these three things every day. Etiquette in Thailand. Thailand is a modest country but its dress code is also very sun smart. The more you add sun protection with your clothing, the better you will meet Thai cultural norms. Take off your shoes. Feet are considered dirty in Thailand, 
in many places. Like small shops, private homes, and temples, religious shoes are left outside. It's common to leave your shoes outside your hotel room as well. If you're ever unsure, it's perfectly fine to stick your head inside a shop and ask before entering. Or just look for other shoes left outside. There are often signs in English as well. Don't put your feet up. Thai etiquette means not putting your feet up on anything not meant for feet, like a coffee table or a chair. Feet equals dirty. Keep yours on the floor. Also be aware that pointing to anything, or pushing things around with your feet is really, really rude in Thailand. Don't touch anyone's head in Thailand. Don't touch anyone's head. Patting someone on the head is not polite. If you do it will make them very angry. In Thailand, the head is considered the most holy and cleanest part of the body. So by touching someone's head you're disrespecting that person. Don't point at anyone with your index finger. Thais don't use their index finger to point at anyone, it's considered rude. If you do need to point at something, hold out your hand with your palm facing upwards and point using your whole hand. This is especially polite if you're trying to point at a person. Don't hugging and kissing in public places is considered impolite in Thai society. Don't naked bathing in public places is very impolite. And topless or nude sunbathing is frowned upon and can attract unwanted attention. Thais do not like violent confrontation. Do not shout or speak loudly. In everyday life in Thailand, there is a strong emphasis on the concept of Sanuk. The idea that life should be fun. Because of this, Thais can be quite playful at work and during day-to-day -day activities. Displaying positive emotions and social interactions is also important in Thai culture. Often, Thais will deal with disagreements, minor mistakes, or misfortunes by using the phrase my pen right translated as it doesn't matter. The ubiquitous use of this phrase in Thailand reflects a disposition towards minimizing conflict, disagreements, or complaints. A smile in the sentence my pen rai indicates that the incident is not important and therefore there is no conflict or shame involved. Spending time in the land of smiles can be truly an amazing experience. With its colorful culture set amidst the backdrop of countless tourist spots, Thailand never fails to enchant. This is Thailand.